This video was kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where I'm going to explain and show all of my supplies that I take with me on the go. In my previous videos, I shared my urban sketching process and I receive many questions about what I take with me, so I'll be sharing all of my essential art supplies and how I pack them with me whenever I'm going to draw or paint outside. First things first is my sketchbook. This is the place I create all of my drawings and paintings on the go. If you've been watching my channel, you know how much I love working in my sketchbook. Here I can capture all of my memories and have it all in one place. The current sketchbook I'm using is a larger A4 size by Etcher. I have completed over 15 sketchbooks and have worked in different sizes, but this time I just preferred to try out a larger size. I've been enjoying working and experimenting with different sizes. It's really just about what you prefer and what is best for your type of creating. I personally enjoy using all mediums, so if you watch these sketchbook tours, you can see that I have used all pencil, paints, and I'm always looking for an all-in-one sketchbook that is going to be great for all mediums. With the way that I like to work and create, this is a little checklist of elements I like to look for whenever I'm choosing a sketchbook. And I decided that it works best for me after trying and experimenting all different kinds. I always recommend assessing your personal needs and deciding from there. And of course, they can always change and be adjusted. Up next are my travel easels. From my first urban sketching video, I mentioned that my dad has created and 3D printed these for me. He is incredible and was able to create a solid custom design for me, and these basically attach onto a tripod. I have one for a smaller sketchbook as well as a larger sketchbook. They open up like a book, and once attached to the tripod, I'm able to have a beautiful setup whenever I don't have a table around, and they're perfectly compact to fit right in my bag. My dad and I came up with this design after watching many other videos on planar easels, and I basically let him know some essentials that I need as an artist and creating outside, and voila, he created this beautiful prototype which I've been testing out and loving so far. If I'm painting at a location I know will have a table, like a restaurant or a cafe, I'm able to position my sketchbook at an angle, so it can work just as well. That pretty much sums it up for my setup, and now let's talk about my loving pencil case. This is where all of my drawing tools sit inside of. It's a nice little leather pencil case, and it has two compartments where you can actually fit quite a bit inside. I keep all of my drawing and color pencil tools on one section, and in the other is where my ink pens sit. It was a bit hard to decide which art supplies to make the cut of taking on the go, but again, after assessing what I enjoy using most, I was able to decide on these drawing essentials on the go. Before I discuss each tool, a quick word from today's sponsors. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can manage and build your own business. I've been using Squarespace for years and I've been so happy with everything that they have to offer. I love having control over my own website and I actually wanted to freshen up with a new banner and I wanted to show you how simple it is to do. Here's my Squarespace dashboard and the banner image that I'm going to be switching out to a more recent painting I finished. A menu pops up and I simply click remove image and all I have to do is drag and drop the new one. So simple and super user friendly. All I had to do was click save and my new updated banner is is live on my website. You can get your free trial of Squarespace by going to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash jesscarp for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you Squarespace and let's jump right back into my art supply essentials. In the first compartment, I have all my favorite white highlighting tools a Uni Posca pen in white, which is a great overall bright white. Another favorite is the Uni Ball Signo a Prismacolor color pencil in white, and a crayon for punching out highlights before I start watercolor. They basically sit right here, and they're a huge essential for punching out some really bright highlights. Next up are my graphite and mechanical pencil. Currently, I'm loving using this Pilot mechanical pencil. It's a 0.3 lead. It's super nice to draw with and gives me some beautiful detail. I mentioned this lots, and I love drawing with a hard pencil so that my watercolors don't smudge. And my holy grail favorite pencil brand, which is the Blackwing, allows me to make marks of all values and it acts like an all-in-one pencil. This way, I have a little variety of everything. A 2H for a hard pencil, a medium, and a mechanical. When I need to sharpen one of these, I carry around a tiny little compact Muji sharpener. It gives a great point to the pencil and it's super compact and fits right into the pencil case. 
In this compartment, I also include an additional small eraser and I've been loving this sumo grip. And I also carry a kneaded eraser, but it's a surprise on where that lives, so keep on watching. For extra detail, I have my Mono Tombow erasers. These are basically like mechanical pencils, but in eraser form. I love these and they've been a serious game changer. In that same little section, I also carry around a small number four blending stump. This allows me to smudge values and pencil quickly. You've seen me use these in my initial sketches and it's overall part of my drawing process. Alrighty, on the right side, I have all of my colored drawing pencils. In the middle, I also have my watercolor pencils by Caran d'Ache. I sometimes use these before beginning planar painting in watercolor. And I also include some color pencils from my favorite two brands, Faber-Castell and Prismacolors. I haven't been able to pick a favorite since they're both amazing in their own ways. And as for the colors, I sometimes just randomly pick some if I can't choose, or I switch them out depending on the mood that day. Now let's flip over to the other compartment where I keep all of my favorite ink pens. I really enjoy drawing with both pencil and ink, but my favorite favorite pens to draw with are these Muji pens. They are just so incredible and I speak always highly of them. A super versatile pen, great for cross hatching, line drawing, you name it. I carry a few of their colors, including black, navy blue, green, and red. I love sketching in colored ink when I want something quick. And some other favorites include these Pilot GTEC C4 pens. I also have them in an array of all these different colors and sometimes I also just pick some random ones, but they are super beautiful to draw with. So these pens sit here on the left, and another huge essential is my 4-in-1 ballpoint pen by Bic. This is just basic stationery, but I absolutely love drawing with these, and I have red, black, purple, and blue here, so honestly, I can just carry this with me and draw with it, which I do sometimes, but it's one of the best cheap art drawing tools you can have. I also have my Lamy Safari pen. This is a refillable one. I put some waterproof ink in here so that the watercolors can be painted over it. I also have two cheaper fountain pens here as well. They just hold different colored inks and have different points. And in the back, I have a small ruler for when I'm drawing in architecture and I need some straight lines. And the last three ink pens include this Tombow marker. It has a nice sturdy yet flexible nib, a good old Micron in 03, which I feel like is a great overall point, and a smaller detailed brush pen. And that wraps up my ink compartment along with my pencil case. May seem like a lot as of right now, but I promise it's not so much. But up next are my paints. This is my watercolor palette that I currently have and recently set up. I have a full video on all of my color choices, on the palette prep, and everything you need to know about making your own watercolor palette. I was going to make a smaller set on the go, but this one is really no big deal to carry around. But I've also recently discovered this mini pocket watercolor field box by Windsor Newton. I immediately fell in love and it's perfect to even take in your purse. It's tiny yet completely functional. There are three small sections where you can mix your paint. And I initially purchased the student grade, but I also switched out some colors to my Daniel Smiths and they fit perfect. I was able to fit 14 pigments and trust me, that's more than enough. And the coolest part is that the cap sits perfectly on the side of the palette and the plastic little flask container acts both for water and a palette area. I alternate between those two and honestly A++ on this design. I also like to carry a little tin box of some essential gouache paints. I take these with me sometimes, and I always make sure to have a permanent white tube of gouache paint. I sometimes mix it with my watercolors to create a thicker consistency, and I also like to carry some basic primaries, and this color marigold yellow is something I use to create a tone over my drawings. You can mix so much variety with just these simple primaries. Whenever I need some extra space to lay out some paint, I have these portable little ceramic palettes by Etcher and they sit beautifully in this little container and they're really great to take on the go. For my water cup, I've always loved this collapsible silicone cup by Faber-Castell. I received many questions on how it's able to stand, but essentially the bottom is nice and hard and the center is soft, which allows it to collapse. This has been and always will be a favorite of mine. However, I wanted something even more compact and I came across this collapsible shot glass. 
and it's great because I am also able to keep my kneaded eraser in here. As mentioned before, there's a secret place I keep it, and this is the place where it's able to stay super clean and not dirty since everything does tend to stick to the kneaded eraser. This little cup keeps it protected. Remember my planar easel that my dad made? Well, we came up with a hack to put a little magnet on the bottom, and we also glued some magnets into the easel itself, and this way it stays put when it's on the easel. For the brushes that I take with me on the go, I really love these Jack Richardson Travel Brush Set. Its holder can actually stand up on the table, and the drawstring tightens it so it could sit on your sketchbook or a tripod. I saw James Gurney using these, and he's an inspiration of mine. You really have everything you need here, from your large flat for washes to smaller detailed round brushes. I also came across a cheaper set on Amazon and I really loved this little pouch. This brush set actually fits into your pocket and it basically has collapsible brushes that you can put together. And after using these, I'm super pleased with the quality. I'm quite a big lover on little leather pouches and compact things for sketching and this was just an all around great option. Other small but super crucial things that I need also is a little rag or a paper towel to wipe off excess water when I'm painting. This is just a little piece cut from an old t-shirt. I also use these clips to hold my sketchbook back. It's perfect to hold my sketchbook to my planer easel and it prevents the pages from flying around whenever it's a windy day. I also take some smaller ones with me and these always come in handy. And with all of that, that concludes my travel art supplies. And in conclusion, I'll show you how I pack it all up. I'm currently using this backpack by 17 London. I switch around sometimes, but this one is perfect with all of the little sections and the design is perfect for urban sketching. You can carry it like a backpack and with the handles, but once you open it up, there's a section in the back, which I like to keep my sketchbook in. I like to keep my paints laying flat at the very bottom. The pencil case then fits perfectly right inside there, along with my brushes and the water cup. The other little collapsible cup can fit into a little zipper. My clips and rag go into some other smaller compartments. And I love that the insides have these secret pockets that I can sneak some extra little brushes into. On days that I'm taking my sketch easel, it fits right inside as well. And everything's all packed and ready to go painting with. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching. What are some of your favorite art supply essentials? Leave a comment below if you have any recommendations. I'm always open to hearing some new options and trying new things. Consider subscribing to my channel if you aren't already. You can also check out my websites for stickers, prints, and art. And now you can also sign up for exclusive stickers and postcards in the mail every single month over on my Patreon. I also provide monthly motivation on there, so it's a really awesome art community, so feel free to check it out. Thank you so, so much for watching and for all your love and support. This was Jess here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!